Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show a case of 17 year male who came with chief complaint of unesthetic appearance of teeth, history of bilateral cleft lip and palate, primary re repair was done at 6 months of age and cleft palate repair was done at 2 years of age. Two months back he had undergone palatal fistula repair. His maxillary arch shape was tapered. It was asymmetrical and spacing as well as crowding was present on the arch. 1, 6, 1, 5, 1, 3. These were palatally placed. Uh, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6 were palatally placed. And presence of median palatal scar from previous surgery. On the mandibular arch, the shape was ovoid. It was symmetrical and minor crowding was present on the arch mesolingual rotation with respect to 3 1 and 4 1 was noted molar relation was class 3 bilaterally and canine relation was class 3 bilaterally as well and incisor relation was a class 3 with negative overjet of 9 millimeter in average and average overbite was a 5 millimeter uh, this is the orthopantomogram uh, we can see on the right side uh, there is a cleft defect as well as on the left side and canine is missing on the right side here we can see on the left side lateral incisor is missing this is the lateral cephalogram of the patient with uh, CBM stage 6 we can see a concave profile the upper lips are retrusive and lower lips are protrusive and we can see deficient maxilla and mandibular excess this is the CBCT image in axial view the cleft on the right side and alveolar bone defect is present here coming to cephalometric parameters uh, SNA as well as SNB both were increased however SNB was uh, more than SNA uh, minus 2 degree ANB angle was present concave profile skeletal class 3 relation FMA and SNGOGN both indicate horizontal growth pattern. Upper incisor to NA indicated retroclined upper incisors. Lower incisor to NB angle indicated proclined lower incisors. And I incisor mandibular plane angle IMPA was also increased. Suggestive of proclined lower incisors. Interincisal angle was increased. It means that retroclined incisors were present nasolabial angle was slightly increased e-line to upper lip was minus 10 mm so upper lip was retrusive they were backwardly placed and e-line to lower lip was 1 mm it was protrusive it was forwardly placed lower lip were prominent and upper lips were retrusive while doing uh, severity assessment for skeletal class 3 malocclusion, the patient's value was minus 2.5 ANB value, not severe. Maxilla mandibular ratio indicated uh, severe. And width appraisal indicated uh, severe class 3 malocclusion. And incisor mandibular plane angle was uh, 94 degree, not severe. Problem list for this patient was crowding with respect to upper and lower anterior segment, skeletal class 3 relation, negative overjet, retrocline incisors, retrusive upper lip and protrusive lower lips, increased overbite, and severely constricted maxilla on the skeletal and bilateral posterior crossbite. Diagnosis is skeletal class 3 A and B minus 2 with horizontal growth pattern, uh, angles class 3 malocclusion with device modification type 3, bilateral cleft lip and palate, retrusive upper lip, normal lower lip. Coming to treatment objectives, uh, alveolar bone graft has to be done on the right side followed by arch expansion 
and correction of crowding in the upper and lower arch, achieving the positive overset and inclination of incisors is our treatment goal. Protrusion of upper lips and retrusion of lower lips and decreasing the overbite and on the transverse dimension expansion of the maxillary arch and correction of bilateral posterior dental crossbite since patient has a cleft in right alveolus skeletal class 3 malocclusion and also transverse maxillary deficiency a tertiary elbow layer bone graft followed by slow expansion of the maxillary arch after 6 weeks of surgery followed by fixed orthodontic treatment is planned and this is prior to alveolar bone graft upper arch was bonded and 0.012 inch diameter nickel titanium arch wire was placed uh, both the first and second molars were banded and this is after the alveolar bone graft from 7 27 and 17 or tri helix appliance was made to expand the premolar region uh, since the intercanine width is quite less to fabricate a quad helix a modification of quad helix has been done in a tri helix appliance for expansion of the maxilla slow maxillary expansion it is fabricated so after one month patient is recalled will be recalled and the tri helix will be again activated i will show you the progress in upcoming videos till now we have done the treatment up to this and if similar case come to your practice what would be your treatment plan and how would you approach now what do you think should be done in such case please uh, provide your insights also thanks for watching I will update the progresses in next videos.